In this tutorial video, we're going to talk about a cast shadow. And this is slightly different than the stock sort of fakey drop shadow that is available in Photoshop in the layers palette under layer styles. This one we're actually going to create ourselves using a variety of, of different tools and a couple of different steps. And you will see how easy this is and how much better it looks in the long run. So the first thing I'm going to do is I would like to create a cast shadow out of my little mannequin here. So I am going to select him and I am going to drag him onto his own layer on a new background. So, and then I'm going to transform him up slightly and I can get rid of this guy here. So now I have my mannequin. I would like for the light to be coming from the top right hand side, casting down. So his shadow is going to cast along the quote unquote floor or surface that he's walking on down here. So to do that, I need to first copy his layer and then I'm going to go to the bottom layer and while holding down command on a Mac, control on a PC, I'm going to hold down and on that middle transform control, I'm going to drag this down and lay him down. That was command and hold and drag on that middle layer. And then I'll transform this slightly. I'll use my warp command and I just want the feet to touch. There we go. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select or put a selection around that layer and then I'm going to create a new layer, thus putting that selection on its own layer. Now I can turn off that first laying down mannequin and simply use the selection. The only reason I made a copy of that and then skewed it down was so that I had an accurate selection around it so that it appears as though the original is casting a shadow down. So this layer now can just go away if need be. So now I'm on this layer and I would like to fill it with a gradient which is a tool that is bundled within the paint bucket tool but before I do that I'm going to actually feather my selection. We have feathered objects in the past, but now we're actually going to feather a selection and I'm going to do it mm, about 15 pixels and say OK. And you see what a very soft selection it is now. It's, it's gone from being a very hard edge selection to a very soft selection, hence a shadow because a shadow doesn't have a very hard edge, it has a soft edge. So now using that gradient tool that we just talked about, I'm going to gradate from black to white. The gradation tool at its basic function gradates from the foreground color to the background color. I'm actually going to make the background color be a very light gray. So I'm going to actually be gradating from black to very light gray. And I would like the darkest part of my gradation or the darkest part of the shadow to be near the object that's, that's casting the shadow. So now when I drag and drop, you see it goes from dark to light. And you can experiment with this because you can go from very quick gradation from dark to light. Or the longer you drag it out, the more dark you get to light. So now I'm going to deselect this. And you see I have this very soft cast shadow that goes from dark to lighter gray. And now to make it even more realistic, I'm going to make a background that goes from very light gray to white. So I'm going to say OK to that. And now my background layer, I would like to go white. And remember, my the white will represent the light source which is coming now, it's determined because of our shadow, it's coming from the upper right hand side. So if I do this, that's not right because it's going from darker to lighter. What I really need is it from, there we go. So it goes from darker in the corner down here to lightest where the light source is coming from. So there it is, a cast shadow 
using the object that we skewed down using that middle transform control holding down the command key put a selection around it and then fill that selection with a gradation of black in my case from black to gray but you can choose to make your your shadow can be funky and it can be a colored shadow but if you would like a realistic looking shadow go from darker to lighter and your background can be a gradation from light source um, being the lightest to darkest down by where the shadow is being cast. I hope that helps.